Do you know the saying that life has many ups and downs and the future is uncertain? The chances and vicissitudes of life can make someone pass from success to failure or vice versa. Make yourself comfortable while you still have the chance, and see how unpredictable life can sometimes be. Because the people you're going to see today have gone from the bottom to the top overnight. Let's get started. But before you start, try to answer the following question, in what art does Mark Levy excel? The answer will be given at the end of the video. While life has deprived some people of comfort and a stable financial situation, it has given them certain things that others don't have, such as incredible talent. And it was especially Donald Gold's talent that lifted him out of poverty and made him famous. The story of this American will teach you that music can not only soften morals but also save your life. The story of Donald Gould, this homeless man from Michigan, took place in 2015 in Sarasota in the United States. Since the death of his wife in 1998, which was followed by the loss of custody of his son, he has experienced a veritable descent into hell that lasted more than seven years. He had no job, no roof, and spent his whole days wandering the streets. Donald Gould may not have had a stable situation, but he had an incredible talent, he played the piano incredibly well. And whenever the opportunity arose to play in front of people in a train station or other public place, he didn't hesitate to do so. But lately, Donald's life has taken an unexpected turn. One day, while the long-haired homeless man, wearing an old tank top and a pair of jeans with holes in them, was performing Styx's song, Come to Sail Away, on a public piano, a young woman, marveling at his performance, stopped and started filming it. He played so well that his performance left passers-by in awe. The woman then posted the video on social networks, and since then Donald's life has changed completely. When the video went around the net, a wind of solidarity blew through Donald's life as many people were touched by his situation and decided to help him. The homeless man was given a new look, generously donated by the local barber in his town, who shaved off his beard and refreshed his hair, which did him a lot of good. His plight has even prompted a response from charities, one of which managed to raise the handsome sum of $40,000 to help the man who, just a few years ago, was in the service of the US Navy. Thanks to the donations and support received, the pianist was able to turn the page and change his life for the better. He was offered a scholarship to study music, he was able to find a home and better than that, he even reconnected with his son. And the icing over the piano, he managed to find his way into a professional music career, which earned him several appearances in the American media, including an NFL game where he played the American anthem in front of the entire football stadium. At the same time, the 50-year-old has committed himself to support all the homeless in his town and help them overcome their precarious situations. In 2017, Donald was able to release his first album and even found love. As long as there is life, there is hope. Yet another person, who was able to rise from the abyss of misery thanks to his incredible talent. Her name is Emily Zamorka, and she was a homeless woman who spent her entire day wandering the subways of Los Angeles in the United States until one day she started singing, in the right place and at the right time. Emily Zamorka, is actually of Russian descent. She grew up with classical music and was trained with the demands of Russian teachers. At the age of 24, she left her country to emigrate to the United States to give herself more chances to earn a living. However, after health problems and mounting debts, Emily had to resign herself to giving up her profession and performing in restaurants and on the streets of Los Angeles with her $10,000 violin as her only companion. One day, she broke her wrist after someone pushed her onto a bus, she was unable to play, and because she was not entitled to benefits, Emily was drowned by medical expenses. She then found herself on the street because she could no longer pay her rent, she only slept on cardboard boxes or public benches. But the worst for Emily was yet to come. One day, someone stole her precious instrument and since then, it was the beginning of a second descent into hell for Emily. But it was without counting on her exceptional soprano voice, which she did not hesitate to highlight to get noticed by passers-by. Thus, in September 2019, on the platform of the Wilshire, Normandy station, while Emily Zamorka was singing the aria from O Mio Babino Caro, an opera piece composed by Giacomo Puccini, a policeman no doubt touched by her melodious voice, stopped to film her. In just a few days, the video went viral and was viewed by several hundred thousand people around the world. 
Since the video release, a fundraiser has been organized on the internet to give her a new instrument, and close to $80,000 has been raised to help her improve her situation. All the country's media outlets then set out to find the one with the golden voice, and among the many people who fell under the spell of her voice was producer Joel Diamond, who contacted her to offer her a recording contract. It would appear to be a new beginning for the woman who was singing her despair in the American subways without knowing that her chance was there. Lauren Kreitzer was amid a real descent into hell when one day a television show changed his life. This carpenter by profession, living in California, USA, lost everything in a tragic car accident. He was seriously injured in the foot, to the point that he had to be amputated. Unable to work or care for his children, who were placed with their grandparents in Louisiana, thousands of miles away from home, Lauren found himself in a deplorable precarious situation overnight. Expelled from his home, the homeless man was just surviving in a shack with $200 a month in social assistance. Sinking gradually into idleness, Lauren spent his whole days slumped on the couch watching television. And so, he found himself one day watching a flea market show, in which a very expensive cover of an Indian tribe was being sold. It was then that he came up with the idea of taking out of the closets an old dusty blanket that looked a lot like the one he had just seen in the show. He inherited this blanket when his grandmother died because nobody wanted it. She used to spread it on the floor of her porch when her cat wanted to give birth to her kittens. The rest of the time, the blanket was folded under the litter box. That's how Lauren wanted to try his luck by putting his blanket on sale in antique shops, hoping to get $5,000 or at best $10,000 back. But unfortunately, again, nobody wanted it. The antique dealers thought it was an old worn blanket made in Mexico, without any value. But tenacious by nature, Lauren didn't give up convinced that his blanket was a real treasure. He then went to see a specialist of the Amerindians, for reliable expertise. It was then established that the blanket dated back to the year 1840. It was hand-woven with dyed wool and certainly belonged to a chief of the Navajo tribe, who welcomed his guests by placing this cloth ornament on his shoulders as a sign of power and authority. The coverage was then auctioned off and it took only 77 seconds for it to be estimated at $1.5 million. Since then, Lauren has become very rich and has been able to get his revenge on life thanks to this nice boost from fate. Today he rides a Harley Davidson, goes on a cruise, and lives in a beautiful villa with his children. Now you know what you have to do, all of you to your storage. Not everyone is lucky enough to find the right shoe, and the story of this little schoolgirl will prove to you that being poor doesn't prevent you from having a big heart full of humanity. This girl's name is Rhea Bullos and she lives in Iloilo, Philippines. She is a little girl stricken by poverty who has proven to the world that being passionate has definitely nothing to do with material wealth and that it can even drive us to make the impossible possible. On December 9, 2019, Rhea participated with her school in a run organized by the provincial government against children from nearby schools and she ran without shoes. Yes, you heard well. While all the other children all had real sneakers on their feet, Rhea just wrapped her feet with gauze ribbons with the famous hand-drawn Nike symbol, because she simply couldn't afford real sneakers. Are you heartbroken? Wait until you hear the rest of the story. Following this athletic event, Rhea Bullos won three gold medals thanks in particular to the 400m, 800m and 1500m sprints. It was certainly not easy for her, as the gauze ribbon had worn out quickly. But her perseverance and talent pushed her to surpass herself and take up the challenge. When she was asked, little Rhea had said that since she could not afford to buy suitable running shoes, it occurred to her to make her own. Of course, the shocking images of the little girl, which appeared online, made local businesses react and, touched by her fair play and positive attitude, offered her a good pair of running shoes. The girl also received several gifts from people who heard about her story and were deeply touched. And as she is also endowed with great humility, Rhea wished that even her classmates could enjoy the same benefits as she does. The little one said that they were all one team, that they did everything together, and that it was logical that they all took advantage of what was offered to her. If that's not being a team player. So, what do you think of these incredible stories? Tell us in the comments if you would have liked to have been in their shoes. 
And to answer the question from earlier, Marc Levy is a French writer, so he's in literature. He is one of the most widely read contemporary French authors in the world, alongside his colleague Guillaume Musso. I hope that many of you have found the right answer.